Hey guys, what's up? It's Corey, and it's been a while, but uh, I said I would do an update, and I don't know, I feel like doing videos again, so uh, I mean, we haven't done videos in a while, and this is my first video in like three years, but I'm out of uh, reptiles, and I'm into saltwater tanks now, so this is my second tank. I have a 30 gallon in my living room, and I'll show that on a later date, but I just wanted to show my uh, 90 gallon now. Uh, I just started it up like a month and a half ago, and it's cycled, uh, so I got a little brown algae on it. But uh, I'm just going to give you a tour of it real quick. Uh, I don't want this to be a long video, so yeah, here we go. Oh, and basically all videos now are probably going to be salt water. So if you want to unsubscribe because of that, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to be doing salt water. I sold all my reptiles. I got out of salt uh, reptiles, and I'm into salt water tanks. So, I'll go from right to left. Uh, this is a JBO pump. I have two of them. One on this side and that side. Uh, it's a 90 gallon. Uh, I have two Kessel A35s on here. Uh, and they're on a timer from 8 a.m. in the morning to 8.30 at night. Uh, this is a top overview. Uh, and then, sumps back there. Uh, okay, so... I also have PVC pipe in there and you might be wondering why and I am considering getting an eel uh, but if I do not it's still cool because the fish can like swim through there and stuff and it's cool and good for hiding spaces for them and stuff but I might be considering getting a blue ribbon eel or some type of eel um, so yeah so I have a bunch of snails in here uh, turbo snail uh, sorry if it's really blue uh, it's just the lights uh, I'm trying an acro out back there Probably can't see it well. I'll try to get it adjusted in the next video. But uh, here's the side view of it. There's a couple snails up there, and this is a uh, thermometer 79.7. Uh, it runs from like 78 to 80 throughout the day. Uh, let's see if you can see him. That little guy there is a mystery wrasse. I named him Jimmy. Uh, he's one of my two fish in here. I have him and a diamond goby. And there's my mag float. So I have five coral in here, four zoas, slash uh, palithoas, and the acro. I'm just trying the acro out, see, because the water is zero ammonia, zero nitrates, and zero nitrites, uh, and I think zero phosphates. So uh, that's a space monster, tiger space monster, if you can't see it. Those are uh, rosses, but the turbo sound just flipped them over. Uh, these are sunny Ds, and those are tiree orange rainbows. Uh, I really like the Sunny D's and the Tyree Orange uh, rainbows. Uh, here's a Nassar snail, and the, dime, uh, the Diamond Gobi hides back there, or hides in here. Uh, sorry if the video is really shaky, I haven't done this in a while. So, I also have a serpent, a red serpent sea star, or uh, starfish. Um, he hides in this little like crevice here, and he comes out when I feed, uh, and he's really cool. He's about like five inches long, and then back there I have an anemone. I don't think you can see it, sorry about that. Yeah, I don't think you can see it too well. But that's one side. And here's the other side. Again, I'll try to fix the blueness on the next video. But here's that. And this is the pipe here. The piping goes uh, from there all the way. Uh, comes here and goes all the way over here. Comes out there. Uh, so they're all connected to each other in the middle, like right in there in the sand. Uh, so if I get an eel, uh, he'll be able to put it, like be in there and live in there. And I will also get a screen top if I get an eel uh, on top of the tank so he can't climb out. But hopefully I will get an eel because I kind of want one a lot. Uh, but I'm still researching that and stuff. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's not too fancy right now. Hopefully getting some more coral soon. Uh, just kind of adding fish and stuff slowly just so that the tank gets used to having a lot of fish and stuff in there uh, but I feed it like PE mice of shrimp once a day uh, and then I also feed a couple of pellet, uh, pellet food to the mystery rest oh yeah that's about it if you guys have any questions let me know I will be doing a video on my 30 gallon in a couple of weeks probably uh, so yeah if you guys have any questions or comments just let me know below uh, thank you for watching, and see you guys later.